thank you, Danny, for that talk. Um, it was super critical that all of us experience that. Some of us experience it twice, and it is equally impactful every time. Um, yeah, couldn't have put it remotely. Um, none of us could have put it remotely as good. Uh, the key thing here is like we got to use our stuff well uh, and often, and really make sure that we're building stuff that actually works for people. Um, and today, like I think a lot of us uh, keep finding all these things that don't work. Um, and one of the things that came out of the conversation yesterday, and that ended up in a, we, we sort of started a large discussion about this, um, is that it's very difficult in our community right now to flag when things are like not working and translate that into an actual fix eventually. Um, that does happen often, of course, but there's just a very large amount of times where that doesn't occur. And so people get like the wrong feedback of like, oh, I just kind of go and report things and it doesn't actually translate into improvement. Um, and so we need to, and so that, that disincentivizes future improvements. So that one, one big thing that kind of all of us should do is kind of discuss how we can get to a good spot of being able to catch all of those kinds of problems and report those kinds of issues um, and improve things for, for ourselves, whether it's kind of updating docs, like um, uh, deprecating things, uh, maintaining things, uh, keeping them working, um, and so on. And like we, we saw, so like uh, the, I tried to use PeerPad earlier today precisely because of the talk yesterday and PeerPad doesn't work anymore. Uh, and then HackMD also doesn't work. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> at least we could type in HackMD. So, uh, uh, but the point is like, it'd be great if by camp we can use PeerPad, right? And, and be able to like actually use our stuff um, update the, most of the application is probably the same, we can just update it, um, and so on. But anyway, thank you, and, and really kind of discuss this over dinner and in the future, future weeks, I think it's gonna be uh, really key. Uh, great, so I think we have a few announcements. Um, the first one is we're gonna have the closing dinner, um, and we're gonna be headed towards that uh, relatively soon, I think it's from 8 to 11 p.m. tonight. Um, it's a short walk away from here, I think, or like a walkable uh, distance. Uh, there's a phenomenal menu that uh, Uni and the rest of the organizers have put together um, uh, for us. And the video of the recap of the week is gonna be shown there, which is an, even an additional incentive for you to come. So whether you'll be, whether delighted by the food, delighted by the conversations, or delighted by the video, uh, you should definitely uh, come hang out. Um, the next announcement is uh, you must join Slack for everything important related to this event. This was an important announcement set at the very beginning, uh, and I'll say it again here so that um, everyone kind of keeps that uh, discussion area for future uh, kind of follow-ups and so on, and so we kind of keep growing the community. Um, the next very important announcement is uh, that this wonderful person uh, has had a very important day, day happen. So we're gonna sing happy birthday to <laughs> our dear friend, uh, Alan. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Alan. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Anybody else uh anybody else celebrating something important right now this week? that chose to celebrate their birthday or other important uh, things with us? All right, well. <laughs> Especially after that. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I wanted to uh, end with a thanks. So um, there were a ton of people involved in producing this um, uh, event, uh, and a lot of people came and gave talks and, so, and uh, helped uh, organize all of this. Uh, there's many more people than are pictured here. Um, I would actually want to ask everybody if you if you led a track, can you like stand up for a moment? Uh, let's give a huge round of applause for all our track leads.
if you if you spoke or uh, at a track or organized one conference session or something like that, can you uh, stand up? Thank you. And if you organize the event uh, and all of the logistics of getting people over here or helped in any way to staff this effort, uh, please stand up, including the AV folks who are already standing up, <laughs> way ahead of the curve. <laughs> Thank you, Uni and, and Co. Uh, and that's it. So uh, goodbye. And uh, let's go to hang out and have dinner. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Important announcement still. I was trying to get to, I was trying to find those slides in the interstitial slides. Does anybody? Thank you. Perfect. The other announcement remember, IPFS Camp is coming November 3rd to 5th in Bangalore. All of us should be there, um, and one of the, I think Nikki already described the why um, at the beginning of the week, um, but just so you kind of get a feel, um, there were 20,000 applications to ETH India for the hackathon. Uh, 2,000 people showed up from all over India, traveled all the way to Bangalore to be there. Um, we decided to organize Phil Bangalore two weeks ahead of when, well, Huddle or decided to organize um, We The Community. Um, two weeks ahead, and they got 1,300 attendees just in two weeks. And a ton of the attendees were asking me about Lip2P and IPFS and like the core internals of the protocols, and they were really excited about um, these pro projects and protocols and wanting to build with them. So the, one of the big reasons for um, really investing in bringing the entire community to, uh, to India this year um, is to be able to um, onboard that community of developers who is really hungry for working and developing these protocols um, and in large quantities, right? So all of our projects are hurting for and needing uh, many more contributors, and this is a great place to help support and train and onboard uh, a whole new wave of uh, contributors to, to our systems. So hope to see you there. Uh, please uh, uh, join there. And yeah, I think that that's it. <laughs>